Ricardo. David, welcome. Welcome, guys. Nana Ampon, welcome. Good, good, good afternoon. I greet you all. It's me again, the Lali. I greet you all. Good, 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 good afternoon to you all. Yes, good afternoon. Um, today we have our papa. Yes, I'm very sure he's getting ready to join us. And he want to, he want to teach us the Ewa history. Thank you, love. I appreciate the love. He want to teach us the history of the Ewa people. Yes, we want to know the history of Ewa people. I don't know it. And I guess some of you also don't know it. So I want us to take this opportunity to learn uh, more about the Ewe people. It doesn't matter whether you are from Bota region, wherever you are from. A history is a history. And if we have the right person to take us through, uh, we should be grateful. Yes, the, my guest today is one uh, very important man. He knows the history of Vota region, the Ewes. And he has been around the world to learn the history, yes, about Vota region. And for what I know so far about him, he is the great great grandson of uh, Okonfo Anoche, yes. So he will uh, tell us more about his grand grandfather, his great grandfather, and and he will teach us also about the Everland, yes. So I am waiting on him to come and join us. Thank you for joining me. Yes, God bless you. And I do appreciate you guys. I do really appreciate you guys. So let us enjoy this music whilst we wait. Yes. Mm. I don't know if you can hear it. Guys, let me know if you cannot hear what is going on. Sorry guys for the interruption. He was the one trying to call me. Our daddy was the one trying to call me. Yes. If you cannot hear uh, the music, let me know so I will do something about it. Yes. If it is not loud enough, just please speak out. Let me know. Just say it. Say I can't hear. So I will... Hello guys, welcome. Please share the video. Please share the video. Yes. I'm waiting for our papa. I I am us i hope he can yeah he, yeah he can find us yes i'm proud to be a ever lady i'm proud to be a voltarian actually yeah it's an honor to be a voltarian welcome everybody please share the video He just called me. He wants to find out how he can join. So I hope he, he will just join us soon, soon, soon. And then we take it from there. Yes. So please bear with me and have a little bit patient. Yes. For our papa to join us. Yes. join me. I like it when the person is live and you can see who is talking. I don't want to give you audio uh, this thing. I want you to see who is talking. 
sometimes the image also says a lot about the person so yes please let us bear with him and he will be with us soon Julius, welcome. Calvin, welcome. Welcome. We are waiting on our papa. I think he's trying to find a way to join. Yes, so that's what is happening. Yes, so. Thank you, Edwin, for sharing the video. God bless you. God bless you for sharing the video. Um, a minute. I think our papa is trying to find a way how to join us. So let me quickly uh, check on him. Yes. I don't want you guys to have a live um, audio. I want you guys to see him talk. Yes, it's better that way. So uh, I get him here. Thank you for joining. Share the video. Fred, welcome. Welcome. I can see you all. Welcome. And thanks for your patience and your understanding. Papa will join us soon. He just called and he wants to find out, uh, find out how to join us. Mm. He's online, but I just guess he... He's trying to find out how to join us. Yes, I'm calling him here so you guys can. I don't know what that. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hello, Papa. Maraku. Uh, Hello. I'm live feeder. I'm live feeder. Uh huh. Akpo Afika ma ma life aro. Maraku na yinya Facebook. Awo yinya Facebook page aji re. Yinya Facebook page aji. Na yafuma goji a akpo ba akpo ba uba ma le life. Then you click on the feed. Ba hamaka ba ba gramba ma le life. And when you click on the live feed, it will give you. The page where I am live, then you will see these two buttons. Now, but I'm a time of a name. Now, click register and you notify about you want to join. Then I add you. Uh huh. So, uh huh. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yes, our papa is trying to to join us. Yes, we know papas. We know Papes is uh, trying to join us here and even some of us, the young ones, it's not easy for us to join a, a Facebook live as a guest. So I understand him perfectly, but he will try his best to join us. Yes. Please share the video. Alex, welcome, darling. Welcome. Nana Ekuya, um, thanks for joining. I see you, girl. Thanks for joining. So I am waiting for Papa to join us. I invited him and I just called him and he is trying to find a way to join us. Yeah. Davis, welcome darling. Please share the video. If he cannot join us this way, then probably I will call him here on my iPad on video and show it to you guys and probably if I don't know if you can see him that way But I really want to have him here. I really want to have him here uh, So you guys can see him uh, Talk yes, I don't want any uh, um, audio playing mm -hmm. I could see welcome. Thanks for joining. Please share the video.
let me call him once again here who i am i'm not on call with anybody hello hi papa are you here hello hello have you seen I'm, I'm uh, have you seen the the, uh -huh. the have you seen the bottom where I was talking about the bottom I'm talking about the small picture uh yes click the small picture. yes go on my page go on my Facebook wall okay yes are you there now uh -huh. can you see they are saying yeah. I'm live can you see I'm live Oh, you're active now yes i'm active so just click on there's a button when you when you you can see me talking right no not this page uh go on my i just sent you an invite go to your oh god oh um. mm. okay I'm trying to 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 get him here for us. Uh huh, Papa. Uh, are you using your computer yeah. or you are using the phone now? I'm using the phone, the Android phone. Okay, but you you you, you your Facebook is open on a computer also. No, I won't open it on the computer. Okay. I'm using a tablet. Okay, um, let, let me hang up and then go on your tablet on your Facebook and check your feed where they send you message that somebody has liked or comment on your, uh, your, your, your page or something. When you go there, okay. you will probably see that I have sent you invitation or they will tell you the lolly is live. Right. So when you click on that, the lolly is okay. live, it will give you um, this. Let me show you. You see... Uh, yeah. Can you see my, 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 this two little thing here? Yes. You see that one is back and the one is box. Uh-huh. Then you, you just click on that. It will tell me you want to join and I will accept it. Okay. Uh-huh. So let me hang up and then you go on my page, my, your feed on Facebook and check okay. it. Okay, daddy. Thank you. Hi, guys. Thank you for your patience. Yes, uh, uh, there's a there's a saying that nothing good comes easy. Good afternoon, darling. There's a saying that nothing good comes easy, and to get somebody to come and educate us also is something very good. So it doesn't come easy. So he's trying his possible best to join us and have this discussion with us. So I just have to put him through. Yes, he's our papa. Yes, thank you for joining. Please share the video. Yes. But I could my video. Me a for for um. I me a join the girl fi lai. Eh, uh huh. Oh, see that you are laughing at me. <laughs> Mahmoud, thank you for joining. I hope he can see it now. Facebook need to do something that will say that's Mr. Coffee. I've already invited him. I can invite him two times. Oh my god. me rather here who is asking to join nope i don't want you to join i'm waiting for daddy to join
Thank you, darling. Hello, Hello, Papa. I see you were trying to call me on here like a normal call. No, I want you to go to my Facebook page. Go to my Facebook. Yeah, this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I can see that. Even some of us is not easy. Even the young ones, we cannot uh, sometimes get there. Uh -huh. I'm still trying and uh have you gone on my page are you on my page yes i can see your pictures all over the place okay so you uh, cannot see active now uh click on the active now i'll click on it's not coming okay uh uh, go go screw screw my screw down to my screw down my page go like you are going a little bit down maybe probably to pop up there can you see something like a live video no nothing is written here except my picture which has come into the corner of yours your picture has come in the corner of mine. Yeah. And that means you're not on my page. Your, your picture is here in the center. I'm seeing your picture in the center. Oh, okay. Yes, you are You are still on the, the uh, messenger. I want you to go to Facebook itself. Uh, I've been on Facebook and I can't find anything. Oh my, Daddy, is there anybody around you? Hello. I'm calling my son. Okay, okay. Guys, please bear with us. Daddy is having a little bit difficulty. But he will join us soon. Okay. Am I coming now? Have you have you seen have you seen my there anything like a live video me wearing the same dress I'm wearing talking to you right now? Yeah, wearing the red star blue. Yes. Is that it? Yes. Click on it. On the. I've clicked on the picture. It's not a picture, it's supposed to be a video. Please, where is Elom? Elom, come and help daddy. Elom! Elom! Hello, Elom. Hi. Elom, how are you? Mother Kuku, um, I, I want Daddy to join me on my Facebook Live. So I want you to go on my page from Daddy's Facebook. You want him to view it? Uh, I'm on Facebook Live and he's my guest for the show today. So I want him to join me on my Facebook Live video. So go on my page. You know how to go to my page, right? Yes. Okay, go on, go on Daddy's page and you will see that um the, my name is delali they will say that is news feed they will say that, that delali is live so when you click on the live it will show you this button that you have to join me then you join can you just go through it uh i will be here and we'll do it together okay. are you on my page okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Are you on my page now? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, can you see that the lali is live? Yeah. Can yes, you see? I'm wearing the same thing I'm wearing here, talking to you. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so when you you will see there's this small button to your uh, it, when you count from the from the the left you see the uh, one two three four the fourth one you see a box a small box like this and there's another box in front the back one looks like human head you know and the small one there's also like a human head in the box have you seen that one? No. Have you seen anything like join? Uh, join? No. But you can hear me talking, right? From there. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is a place that says join. So if you click on it, I'm supposed to see you here. Okay, um, go to go to daddy's news feed, yeah? Go to his news feed. You know when, when somebody comments on his picture or something, it comes there that this person have commented on your picture. Hmm. Can you see my name there? Yes. Click yes. on. Your name is here. What does it say? It's live now. Yes, click on the it's live now. Hello, click on the it's live now. Okay. Have you clicked on the it's live now? Yes. What do you see? I still not coming. Maybe because I am on the phone. Maybe because we are on we are on the phone. So uh I will have to go off and then you click on the is life now. When you click on the is life now, you see where the energy um sign is. Beside the energy sign, that is where uh you will join me from. Okay. So I am going off and uh -huh. Click on the is live now. When I come live, it will ask request to join or um join. Then you send me, okay? Okay. Okay, all right. I'm going off. Unique, welcome. Thank you guys. I'm trying to get Papa on the on the line. Yes, some of us, we even with the young ones, it's not easy for us to join somebody on Facebook Live. So Papa is trying to join us and our brother is helping Papa to join us. Yes. So Papa will be with us very, 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 very soon. Yes, Papa will be with us soon, soon, soon. Thank you all for your patience. I really do appreciate it. Uh nothing good is nothing nothing good comes easy. Eh uh, so uh huh. Peggy dance so my body body. My oh yes, I've got papa here now. Yay! Yes, that's papa. It's loading. Peggy dance so my body body. I love you, girl. Hi, papa. Hi. <laughs> Finally, you are here with us. Papa. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Good thank afternoon. you. Thank you. Papa. Good afternoon, Papa. Can you bring your camera down yeah. a bit so we will see you properly? Okay. Yes. Is it okay yes. now? It's okay, Papa. Thank you for coming. Right. Thank you for joining. You are welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very Thank much. You. Viewers, this is our Papa. Uh, this is our Papa. Please share the video. Papa, uh, somebody will ask... Somebody will ask, um, who are you?
please can you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself before we continue okay my full name is Gina John Kofiche Ahaji. I project myself as a cultural anthropologist trying to study into the origins of the Avery speaking people from the yes. Nile Valley to date. Yeah. So that is what I am. Oh, thank I'm you very, very, very much. Okay. Thank you You're very, welcome. very much. Thank you. Right. Um, okay. We want to know more about our history as uh, Ewes or um, Voltarians. Most of us, we just know we are Voltarians, we are from Water Region, but we don't know our history. We don't know anything about ourselves. So um, I want to ask you, what's the meaning of Ewe? What is the meaning of Ewe? Ewe. Yeah. Is the, it means you when you want to take it in a, a literal sense, it means uh, so a, a group of people or those who speak a particular language. Okay. The people who speak a tonal language. The tonal okay. language having originated from the Nile Valley. Okay. Today they are called the Avis. Okay. But you will see that uh, they were part of the Kushites in okay. Ethiopia. Oh, okay. And when you go into some of the records too, like uh, the Egyptian Book of Life and Death, you see some of their names are presented there. Oh, and okay. I've come to believe from what uh, Professor Yaudonani wrote. Okay. Trying to decipher who were those who invented the hieroglyphs. You come to oh, see okay. that the hieroglyphs are actually representations of the Avery speaking people's ideograms. Oh, okay. Those are their okay. sacred writings. Okay, so that is the, the, the meaning of Ewe. And Ewe. we thank you very much for uh, letting us know that. And um, please, who are the Ewe people? If somebody say Ewe people, uh, give us the history of the Ewe people, please. Yes, the history of the Ewe people can be traced from the Nile Valley, those who developed that civilization, who invented the science of writing, who did most of the wonderful things like the construction of the pyramids, the sphinxes. The sphinx, uh, the Elves will say at the time, Amadijata, that is when uh, the lion has a human head. The pyramid okay. is a palapaji when they can order the rocks to rise on top of each other. That's why it's not been possible for anybody to construct the pyramids anywhere else. Because so the pyramid we see in Egypt, past. the one we see yes. in Egypt, is that the one you are talking about? I'm talking of that one. Thank I'm you very precisely much. precisely of the pyramids in Egypt. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. Those were constructed by our ancestors before they were driven out of the Nile Valley. You realize that uh, the river we call Nile, before yeah. the advent of the Greeks, was known as Sedda, the divine snake. You see how the river meanders from the Abyssinian highlands with another yeah. branch coming from uh, Uganda. And it meanders like a snake's movement. So the sages, who were in the temple's teaching said that was the divine snake. A Sedna, that's the name. So on the opposite side of what we call the Red Sea today, you have the Jordan. You have heard of the Jordan. Now yeah, they Jordan. Are changing, they say it is, you call it Jordan. By those yes, days, I know it was no Jordan, day. so it's Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. Invoke the snake. When you are facing any difficulty, you invoke okay. the snake, the snake deity, Voduna. Okay. And uh, there is okay, so uh, the Papa, if I'm getting this right, the name Jordan of that river, it wasn't Jordan, it was Yordan. 
In our language, it means call the snake. Snake or invoke the snake. Or invoke the snake. The... Yes. Oh, okay. Please and go you, on. You know what? One sacred thing about the snake is that you can live with a snake in your room. It will not harm you, provided you don't make up your mind to harm it. When you make up your mind and you look at the pharaoh, the crown of the pharaoh, you see that the head of the snake is on the crown alongside the vulture. So they're telling you that if you haven't made your, up your mind to harm the snake, the snake has no problem with you. You can live for thousands of years. The snake will not do you anything. But the moment you conceive the idea in your head, that I'm going to destroy this snake, what will it do? It will take it will uh, precautionary action and just uh, bite your heel. We say that portion of the heel is Agbaka. That's where you have the life force. So when it bites your heel, you can do the best you can do, but you will die. Now, okay. the snake deity, when we, our ancestors were driven out of the Nile Valley, they trekked and they brought the snake deity and the Afa, the divination system which enabled them to interpret the will of God. So when you are to be born and they consult the divination system, which is Afa, and why is it Afa? It is Afa because there is half daylight and there is half night. Daylight you can see with your eyes without any assistance. But when it is dark in the night, you cannot see. You need assistance. And that assistance is the light you put up. The light you switch on to see in the dark. And that light in the spiritual realm, you can get to know what is going to happen tomorrow when you consult the divination system. That is why it is half light and it is half darkness. Afa? You got that? Afa? Oh, okay, half light, so when the hour light. say, when the hour say, uh, Maka Afa, Maka Afa, it means that they have questioned the uh, daylight and the darkness. They are in the light, so they want to know what is going to happen or what has happened to them in the past. So they consult the Afan divination, and he tells them, like when you are a divine priest, you will see that most of our divine priests, before they set out early in the morning, when they wake up, they have to consult their divination system and find out what is there in front of them. The Afan will tell you, if you want to go on a journey, and it's not going to be all right for you. The Afa will tell you that no, unless you do this, that, 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 don't go. Okay. It, it will warn you. But if you refuse that you went, you will meet what is there for you. So okay. that is the Afa. Okay. So so it it means that if a Valtarian is saying aro, I am going to consult the the darkness. It doesn't mean anything um, bad. It only mean that no, no, they no. Want, it means you that want they know. want to know what will happen in the future or what is coming, what yes. has happened behind them. Because they are in the daylight yes. and they want to know what is going on in the darkness. Know what is in the darkness. Okay. So that is simply okay. It. Now, okay, so there is no to evil. Say that, that is bad. No, nothing evil about it. In fact, there's if nothing you read hereditary. Yes. Hereditary says that that was the system which enabled them to know everything hidden. Now you have your physical body. The physical body and the spiritual body are in a marriage. Now, if there is something going wrong with the physical body, maybe you can see that you are hurt. But what caused that one? You have to consult the spiritual side. And the spiritual side will tell you that there is some disjointment in your spiritual life. That's why it's reflecting in your physical body. So with that one, you have to consult before you can know. If yes. you don't consult, you will not know. And you will continue on the same path 
until it crashes you down. You can yes. go to a hospital now with an ailment, but the doctor will tell you that he hasn't found anything. But if you go to the diviner, the diviner will tell you this and that and that has been done. That's why you are facing this problem. So make some uh, offerings and it will solve your problem for you. That is the importance of the divination system. That is Afan. And you will see how we draw the Afan lines. That is what the Romans told and claimed that they have invented Roman numbers. The strokes that are used in Afan divination is what the Romans are using as their Roman numbers. And until you know yourself, you will continue giving credit to outside. And it okay. will not work out well for you. Okay. All right? Okay. Yes. yes, all right. So my, my people, you've heard Papa clearly. He said um when Ewese Mekemena Fakaga, it is not a devilish thing and it's not a voodoo thing. It simply means that we are in the uh, in the in the daylight. And if you are in the daylight and you want to know what is going on in the darkness, you have to own a light, and that light is the Afaka um, going to act. So going to ask something that will happen in the future or has happened in the past, it's not a devilish thing. It's just for you to be aware of what is going on around you. Yes. Uh -huh. So Papa has let, cleared... Let, let me, you, you, you made a reference to the word Bodu. Right? Yeah. Bodu. Oh, Papa is gone. He will... Join us back, I guess. Yes, he will join us back. Um, please share the video, and Papa will be with us again shortly. I think his internet or something. So we will wait on him to join us back again. Yes. Um, we have a lot of questions for Papa today. If you have anything you want to know, please write it down. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Bill. Bill, thank you. Please share the video. Please share the video. Papa will join us soon. Let me get to him again. Call him and, uh, yes. Call him here. Papa will join us soon, soon, soon. Mm -hmm. So as you heard him say. Hello? Hello, Papa. Madaku, please join us back. You went off, so please yes. join us back. I'm going off so you can join us back. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, Papa will join us shortly. Yes, today I have a whole lot of questions for Papa. So if you have anything you want to know, um, please just send it to me. Uh, send me, send it in my inbox. I'll ask him for you. Or just write it down here and I'll ask him for you. Uh, Papa is calling me here. No. Papa, no, don't call yeah. me here. No, not here. Join me from where you first joined me. Not here. Oh, oh. what? Oh. Hello, <laughs> today you have to sit with Papa for me. Oh. <laughs> Papa, thank you. Somebody said it's a very educative program. And all thanks to you, Papa. We thank you. Really? Yeah, yeah, we Papa will join us shortly, guys. Please share the video. Yes. Sita, my love. Hope you are doing fine. Share the video. Papa is coming back. We have more questions for him. So, uh, as Papa said, he said the river uh, Niger. It is not called uh, river Niger. Yes. So, he explained it to us. Mm. Papa is come. Yes, Papa is back life with us. Yes, yes, yes. So share the video, guys. Papa is back with us again. Yes, Papa, you are here. Thank you for joining again. The line went off. Yeah. Um, your camera, please bring it so we can see you a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Um. 
Papa, thank you for coming back. Uh, my other question I have is, are there, are there differences in the identity amongst the Ewa people? Differences in which way? You see that the Ewa language or the Ewa language, like I said mm -hmm. earlier, is a tonal language. For instance, the two-letter word, ta, T-A, ta, depending upon the pitch, will give you different, different meanings. Ta as to draw, ta as to crawl, ta as a lake. They are all relating to the two-lettered word. So depending upon the pitch and the tonation, you'll be getting different uh, understanding of the same letter or the same word. So now when you come to the coastal stretch, you have the tonation a shape different from when you are entering into the mid belt. When I'm talking of the coastal stretch, I'm talking of the coastal stretch of Western Togoland, or uh, presently we call it Ghana, uh, Volta region you see that the tonation along the coast, the same mm -hmm. expression, but the tonation is different. Like you go, enter into the middle belt, you have a different tonation, but they are saying the same thing. Then you go to the, the B area, the Hawkwe area, you are having yeah. a different tonation. When you cross into the Republic of Togo, Lome area there, their tonation is different, but they are all saying the same thing. So that is the difference which might be expressed, but is still the same tonal language, okay. which was brought, the, which came with them from the Nile Valley up to where we are today. Okay. That is uh, the tonal language we call the Avery language. Okay. You will see that so there is... the Lord. Yes. Go Please on. Go on. Please go on. Please go on. You are saying something. The... The Lord Gautama Buddha, right? Okay. How will you express that one in the Eve language? How will you understand the name? If, uh, for instance, you are confronted that I, the Lord Gautama Buddha, that name is an Eve name. How do you understand it? Gautama Buddha. Gautama Buddha. Gutama Buddha. I don't understand this, Papa. Gutama Buddha. Gutama, they, they now pronounce it Gautama Buddha. The divine energy of the Indians and the, some of the Chinese. Okay. But you see that Voduda, we were about to talk about Vodu. Yes. And the feed went on. Vodu? Yes. Vodu. Liberate the community. So when you have vodu da, it means that the deity, the snake, liberates the community, prevents evil from attacking the community. So we have vodu. Then the foreigners changed it and said vodu, 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 but it's vodu. Okay. okay. Now you will get to realize from the history which occurred in Haiti, Haiti they call it, when Toussaint Louverture defeated the troops of uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. How was uh, Toussaint Louverture able to defeat Napoleon Bonaparte? Napoleon Bonaparte, having entered into ancient Egypt, acquired the powers of divination. So okay. they attacked Haiti. But uh, then Toussaint Louverture and his people also consulted the divination system upon, and realized that the route through the pass which leads out of Saint, uh, what is the name, the Haitian capital, had been blocked by Napoleon's forces. So the Afa told him that let your troops climb their impassable way and get behind the French forces. Okay. So when the French were depending upon having blocked Napoleon's forces who had rebelled 
against French domination, they used the other route and they defeated the French. That was the power they got from Afa. Now, Gutama Buddha, when you are working with metal, you have to make sure that you consult properly. Otherwise, you will suffer accidents in the metal work. So, to avoid those accidents in metal working, the divine people tell you that respect the snake so that you don't suffer any accident. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes Buddha. Okay, so all the Buddha 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 we've been hearing about the how do you call it the Indians and the Chinese is all uh, all about the Ewes. Yes, you go to the shrines, what do you see? Adan, Voduda. Unfortunately for the Ewes, we have been misled into thinking that the snake and all these things through Christianity is evil. Because your Bible will tell you that uh it was uh, the snake we deceived Eve to go and eat the forbidden food. So you are always anxious to protect yourself against the snake. But go into mm -hmm. any of the Buddhist temples. What do you see? They have a lot of snakes. Snake representation all over the place. So we have been deceived. We have accepted the deceit. And we call ourselves a right reverend professor, pastor did or pastor that. The Indians, the Chinese, the Japanese still hold on to the, uh, the cult, the Buddhist cult, and they are making progress. And we are gliding, continuously gliding backwards. And we are not recognizing that. It is because we have abandoned what is spiritually ours that we are suffering such a thing. Okay. Until we recognize ourselves and touch the path which has been created for us by the supreme consciousness, we will continue dancing in semicircles. Okay. So um, the Buddhist or Buddha or what we call it now is actually called Buddha. Respect the snake. Snake. Okay. If you don't and respect the snake. It's a, a language. It's a language. It's a language. Yeah, yes. So the which Buddha, came the Buddhist, which came out of the Nile Valley. So the Buddha or the Valley. Buddhist that we call today is actually uh, for the Voltarians, the Ewes. Came out of us. It was our creation, and uh, we must respect ourselves. But unfortunately, the Ewes speaking people have lost the track of themselves. Because we journeyed for our ancestors engaged in a serial journey, freeing yeah. themselves from oppression. And that's why along the way we missed some of our things. But when we read the place today called Adnahoma, that's where we deposited the snake date. So by next Wednesday, the Beninois, the Dahomeans will celebrate the anniversary or the national holiday of Adan worship. That is Wednesday on the 10th. You will know that every 10th January of every year is a Dan festival. They celebrate it and I'm hoping to be there this time round and watch them. And it's a very interesting. All those people who tell us that our belief system is bad, you will see majority of them there. Okay? Okay. Um, Daddy, please, um, uh, uh, where, can, where can they be presently located in the world? As in the Ewa people, where can they presently be located? Their histories, where can they presently be located in the world? Now we can just start off with... Uh, See what happened to Master Sergeant Do of Liberia. A Do mm -hmm. is an Navy man. We yeah. can see what has happened to this uh, Cote d'Ivoire man, Laurent Bagbo. Bagbo is an Navy. 
Now, you look along the whole stretch of the West African coast, you will see the areas settle, they are fishing businesses and all this. They are along all the coast up to Mauritania. Then when you come down south, you go to Angola, you will get them. You get to Namibia, you will get them. But the concentration, the concentration of the avian speaking people can be found in uh, southeastern Ghana, into Togo, into Benin, into Badagri. Now the new, the newly created uh, South Sudan, you go there and you have traces of avian speaking. Then you climb up into the Abyssinian highlands. You will have realized that His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the first. That's an avian name. You cross into Sudan uh, and parts of Egypt. Our brothers in the US will always go to Egypt. And where do they go? They go to Nubia. They call it Nubia. Nubia. But that was uh, an heavy name, Nubia, because of the envy and jealousy of the neighbors. If you go back into the Bible, you will read that Joseph, when he was sold into slavery, came into Egypt and became the overseer of the food store and was giving output to people. Then his brother came, his brothers came to buy food and he put his cup into the junior brother's uh, bag. That one you can read in the Bible. Now when he did that one, it was only telling you that Egypt was the storehouse of food in the old world and that created the envy. So the name became Nubia, Nubia envy. And because of that envy, people marched up to destroy the heavy settlement. And they had to move away. And they moved away and came and found this new settlement. And this new settlement, which they have crystallized, first they came to Moche. They tried to recreate their settlement as an heavy kingdom. And then the enemies uh, stepped in again. So some have to move. Even where we are today, we have become the enemies of people who have come to stay with us. And one problem with the heavy speaking people is that when you come, you want something. Oh, you, you go and take it. They will give it to you. You want land? Oh, go and farm there. They are so charitable. Uh, they don't envy anybody. You want to work. Okay, go and work. Now, all this uh, piety had resulted in the problems we have today. That people who came ran away from fighting and we gave them place to hide are now claiming those places to be their own. Hence, the decision to partition, to create a kingdom for the account speaking people. But if you read J.K. Manson's submission to the United Nations Strategic Committee, he Stress where all the people in the so called OT, proposed OT region came from. But India helped them to take our place and they manipulated the plebiscite. Because Britain is equally interested in our land. Britain has no mineral resources. Gold Coast has messed up its mineral resources. You see that the Obuasi mines has become a dead town. They have messed up everything. So where we have all the resources we have, they want to take them. And they are bent upon taking them. A year or two ago, there was this uh, Keta salt mining company. They were not to mine salt. They were to mine after having acquired the land. Then they will claim that they, have, uh, they are mining salt and use that as a front to take the oil they were to relocate all the people. And we said no. I saw the documents. I said no. We won't agree. Okay. Now they are still bent upon it. In uh, just the uh, last three days or something graphic, one Kokume, a geologist, said they are determined to set up 
these uh, Swiss people wanting to explore for oil on shore. And you will see the onshore oil exploration in the Niger Delta area, destroying the environment. And they want to do the same thing. Immediately they start in our area. There will be no land left. Everything will be destroyed. And they will take the resources and go to their country. So okay. any, every speaking person who is anxious to keep our heritage must oppose this oil exploration. Thank you. Okay. I have diverted. Okay. But I just okay. wanted to sound a note of what. Okay. And that's uh, what my next about. question is, um, please, what languages are spoken by the Ewa people? What's, what languages are spoken by the Ewa people? Do we, have, apart from speaking the Ewa, do we have other, other languages? We have variations. Like we have the form. It's a blend of AV and Yoruba in Benin. Please share the video, guys. Share the video. And the other, the Badagri area there. You have the Europe, they are also AVs. But because of their geographical location, where they are not united with the main stock, then their tonation is different. You have the Tibu speaking people along the Niger branches. They are also there. Now, you, the Kushais in uh, Ethiopia, they also speak a blend of Avi. But now it is our responsibility as Avi speaking people to identify where our kit and kin are located so that we can uh, move with them. You go to Haiti, they speak their form. But because of their long absence from the motherland, and they mm -hmm. now tend to be speaking Creole. You go to North Carolina, where you have the Charlie heritage, the Cherokees. Where did they come from? You will see some of their words are everywhere. The tonation differs, is different. But then the core words they speak are telling you that these are out of our stock. You will go into South America. You will get some Asian speaking people there. But we need to do more serious research to identify them with us. You see that our coast, starting from the water estuary, they are mm -hmm. telling you, Major Ellis tells you that from the water estuary to the mono estuary, that is the slave coast of West Africa, which inhabits is inhabited by the Avian speaking people. That's that yeah. we were those whose people were taken captives into slavery. That's why mm -hmm. they named our coast the Slave Coast. You have the Grains Coast where you have Liberia. You have the Ivory Coast where they were getting the ivory. You had the Gold Coast where they were getting the gold. Then you have the Slave Coast. What were they getting along the slave coast? You ask yourself. If they got grains from Liberia, they got ivory mm -hmm. from Ivory Coast, they got gold mm -hmm. from Gold Coast, and what will they be getting from the slave coast? They slaves. will be naming some people slaves. Why did yeah. they do that one? Because we were those who created the civilization of the Southern River Valley, and we became their enemies. Today, we can get up if we are united to claim that all the things they stole from us, we want them back. And they don't want that one. So they have to find some people to destroy it. Then you go into your Bible, the book of Samuel, chapter 1, verses 1 to 12. Your Christian listeners and viewers can check that one. That practice which Hannah, when she went in the into the shrine, demanded from the deity in the shrine. What was the demand? That if you give me a male child, no razor was to touch the hair, and that child would be devoted to the worship or stay in the shrine. They called it the temple. And when Samuel was given birth to, he, he had what we today call the Rasta hair, the dreadlocks. 
Yeah. Samsung also had yeah. the dreadlocks. What was that telling you? It was telling you that the V. Go for the happy duo. So they must bear the name if a male is called a clue. If a female is called Koshi. But then this Westerners funded some people in the name of supporting gender parity. And they said that the people, the girls were being enslaved. Even the U.S. State Department conducted researches into all this claim of enslaving the girls and said, no, it's not true. But still, the Danish government and so-called NGOs still continue funding agencies to attack our culture. All right? Okay. Yes, I understand. So and you mentioned up. something about the um, Charlie. Somebody who asked, who is Toby Charlie? Who is Toby Charlie? Who is he? Toby uh, Charlie. A uh, Charlie. Like uh, Pharaoh Ramses II stated, the past is not dead. Neither is it past. So Charlie, from the beginning, through the present, to the end, the time is still there, the ancient of days. So you go and you get our universal creator, the ancient of days who brought us to where we are today. So you go to Anglonga, and I will tell your cherished viewers and listeners that that name, Anglo, was given by Togba Charlie. Why? Okay. Because when he arrived there, there was a deity there who was smoking fish in the old market, which uh, unfortunately have been turned into a shopping mall. We protested against that one, that that should be our spiritual tourist center. Because when Togbe Chali arrived there, he realized there was somebody who was uh, smoking the fish, but you won't see any physical appearance. So he chanted the word of power. Anglo commanding the deity there to call before him. And the deity called before him, pleading with him not to destroy him, but allow him to protect his children when they come. And that deity is today's Duto Koni. You, you are from Angloga, so you must know where Duto Koni shrine is in Angloga. You know it. Uh, I huh? think yes. When I think, learn, I you think it's your... when you are going to the toko, when you are going to the toko behind the the markets. No, inside the old market. Yeah, inside the old market, they built something the around. That, 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 yes, that is one. Then the other one is uh, a dual energy. So the other one is in the house behind the market. Yeah, the but house the behind the market is, where they painted white okay. and there's yes. trees inside. Yeah. Okay, yes, I then know that one. The one when you get into the old market, too, there is the place there where you have to be paying obeisance to. But now this present day of people feel that building shopping malls to sell foreign goods is better than maintaining the spirituality of the place. We spend all the money to fly to Jerusalem, go and stand before a so-called wailing wall. Then we go to Mecca and all these things. And that week we have, we don't respect. We are not showing reverence to what has been given to them. We want to show reverence to what other people have. Okay. So, Papa, what you are trying to tell us is the 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 shrine we have in Angola in the market is equally to the one in Mecca and the one in Egypt and the one in Israel. You see that uh, in Mecca, Mecca, what do we say? We say, Azizanya kato kama blanaziza. You will see the hieroglyphs displaying Ka as the altar ego, the spirit self. Abba, 
Akaba. Akaoaba. That is the black rock in Mecca. What is it that we who created the civilization of the Nile Valley don't have, that others have? Everything that we needed, we have. But we don't respect it. Because somebody had come to tell us that uh, his uncle or something died for our sins. We have not committed any sin. Why should we leave what we have and follow other people? Now, the question I often ask is that if the creator of the universe is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, and that creator has not discriminated against us, why is it that somebody will leave his country and come and teach us the knowledge of our creator? There's been no discrimination. So we must respect ourselves. We must know that what we have been given is good. We don't have to go and borrow someone else's nose to breathe. Neither should we borrow anybody's eyes to see. And that is the problem of the black race in general and the Asian speaking people in particular. We bask ourselves as being right reverend professor this, malam this or that. But what we have is more than all that they have. So until we get to realize ourselves. And I often say that if you have lost your cultural rights, you have lost your spiritual strength. So he who has lost his cultural rights has surely lost his spiritual strength. So we are not having any spiritual strength now until we rise up to go back to our roots and take from them that which we have abandoned. Okay. Hmm? okay. Um, we have the that... Toho, no? Yes. Uh, toho, no. I know about Toho, no. I I yes. heard a little bit about the Toho no because uh, okay. apparently I heard it in our house. Yes, I've heard right. about the Toho no. I've heard about the uh, Mami. You've uh, heard about the uh, 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 Now when you they said that... I've heard about the Blolovi. They said there are some tribes they don't eat Blolovi. Yes, the uh, which not tribes right. are those? The clan. The, the clan. clan, they don't eat blue lobby. All clans, all clans have a different, different uh, things they don't do. Like my clan, the Chama clan. We are the ancients. We don't use the cashew tree to set fire. Because uh, during the olden times when our ancestors were thirsty for water, it was the cashew we gave them the water that they needed. So you can eat the cashew, but you have no right to cut the tree and set it ablaze. So yes, also the Ajovias, they said that, that uh, they caught, their leader caught uh, the clo clofi. I don't know if you are Ajovia because almost 90% of our uh, Okay. 90% of our laws claim that the <laughs> <laughs> you see the interesting thing about uh, our history this brings me to a very salient issue what is the true history of the Asian speaking people more particularly the Anglos what is their true history I don't know that is why I have you here today in creating a settlement we have been told the story of somebody who was carried in a hammock and they reached a place and he said he was tired. So they brought him down, he said, Menglo. That is, is what I hear. Yes, that is what has been the story all the time. But that is not how we create settlements. Settlements are created by those hunters who have found the place and they come back to the parent body and they perform the necessary ritual. They bring some sand from the new settlement. They conduct divination to find out whether the place can accommodate them. If the place is fine for them to leave, then they send a team to go and uh, fortify the place. And they, when they come to settle, 
they create what we know as Dulagba to protect the community from all enemies. So wherever you see the Dulagba, is telling you that the settlement is created after the Dulagba. They have passed there and they put the Dulagba there to protect them from any enemy. But people are now creating more stories, creating fictional stories about their, their bravery. But the Dulagba is the first thing which marks where we passed and came to where we are. So when you go to Anglongan, like I said, it is not possible to, for somebody to be riding in a, a hammock and say that I am tired, put me down. Then he says, Menglong. That does not create a genuine settlement. So like I said, when Togbe Charlie came and overpowered the deity in the old market, now old market, he planted certain things at places. And the Dulagba is there, just not far from that place, telling you how, the direction from which they came. But today, people are creating other Dulagbas, miniature Dulagbas. In Angloga, where yes. can we find the Dulagba? Where is it located? You see the present new market. Yes, you see the, I know where the present where new market is. Close to the close to the, the river. The lagoon. lagoon. Yes, yes. The Dulagba is around there, right? Is it the one? So it me, is it the one you passed before when you are coming from the other side of the old market? The one you passed before you get to the the new market, or the one uh, uh, from the Oh, the one from uh, the one they've painted white, the white building, the white shrine. Before you get to the topo, your line is breaking. Uh, yes, it's back Hello? now. Yes. Okay. Hello. Uh -huh. Yeah. The Dulagba hey, is it the, the is it the one you 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 get to before you get to the new market, or the one uh, when you're coming from the old market? The uh, street down to the uh, um, uh, the lagoon, the one on the right side, is it that one? Right side or left side? Uh, when you're coming from the old market down to the lagoon, it's on your right. Which, which side? When you're coming from which the old market. Of the old market, which side? You're using the left side or the right side of the old market? When you are coming from like Keta. When you're, let me take it like when yes. you're coming from Qatar. Okay. Yes. When you are going to the Avadadas Palace. Yes. Avadadas Palace area. Yes. All right. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So this one to the left side of the new market. You okay. get that one? Yes. yes, I get that. That is conventionally what I have been made to understand to be the original Dulagba. That is okay. the path they took in coming. Because okay. uh, the history is said that when Togba Charlie arrived in uh, the Ta, you know the Ta? The Ta headed. The, okay, behind the lagoon. Okay. Now, when he was there, he saw the smoke. And he used his mystical forces to cross the lagoon and come and took over the location of the one who was uh, smoking the pit. So when he brought his children, they came from that direction. So the first Dulegba was, uh, you can see it from the Deta direction. And when he came and overpowered with his words of uh, authority, Anglong. So you see that that whole settlement there, up to Agboboma, when you are coming from Keta, you pass the Tokwatonlia where you have the police station. You move yes. a bit and you take a right. You will have a, Agboboma is hidden in the center there, right? And then yes. you have uh, the Piago Palace, which is the summer where Tobiavaga now lives. 
Okay. Now he's telling you the trend, that whole area, you will see that the people are settled there. Those who came, who were brought by Togitali, occupied that whole stretch. But what happened? The Togbi Antonio Bojo the first wrote to the British that they helped them drive away the recalcitrant Anglos. They drove them away. So he must be paid. It tells you that there was a conspiracy between some of the people and the whites. Okay. So having driven them away, then they have become landowners. When they have actually helped the foreigner to capture our lands. But there are certain uh, trends going on now when people are claiming, reclaiming what they have lost. You will see that some of our elders have betrayed the cause. That is why our history is not becoming correct. We are distorting history. How come, for instance, that when our people were leaving Mochi, it was only the Vanyasri clique who said they left their stool behind when all others took their stools away. How does that come about? It comes about that. That is falsehood. The Awamaji is still where it was deposited by Togbe Tali. It is still there. But today we are told that the sixth Awamafia took the stool away, Awamaji away to Katakora. So we don't have a stool. Then everybody starts manufacturing stool. Instead of going to Chama, where you have the place where tubes must be installed, the Awamafia must go. We don't do that one again because we fear that when you go to that place, when you have done any of the things you are not expected to do, when you do that one, and you go into that sacred group, it's just a small place. You go there, your evils will catch up with you, and you will not come out of that place normal again. So virtually 90-something percent of thieves are supposed to be thieves in Angloland have not gone to that place. And that is where we call Chalivuta. You know Chama. You know Asarama. Asarama was a military camp. Now, if you are going to go to war, you are being attacked. All the troops must assemble in Asarama. Then the leaders will go to Chalivuta, where they will be given the corn, in which they will be picking one after the other. The last one coming out of the sack means that you are going to war. So all the chiefs, anybody who wants you have to come to Chalivuta. But today, everybody sits down and says, now, no, I'm installing my chief here. I'm installing my chief there. So they are no longer respecting the tradition, customs, and culture of the schools on we Um, Papa, um, Togi Chalia, is he the same person as Okonfo Anoche? He has never denied that fact. In fact, I have been having some consultations with him. Some claim that he is a twin. But then when you come to Nungwa and you come and see that he is the same person who manifested as uh, Numo Bokete Lawe Turu. You see him holding the spear, the Aklomada, and that spear is never true. When you release it, it goes. Then we consulted him some time, and he was asking us about his golden stool. And who, how many people have the golden stool? It's only the Ashantis. Yes, it's supposed to be the, only the Ashantis. When you look at Okonfuanoche, and then look at the Akan uh, priests, divine priests and priestesses, you will see what the Aves were as Dakla, the Hochi crossing from one yes. side of the body to the other. The Akans yes. don't use Dakla. When he is using the Dakla, 
and the Allah around his waist. What is he telling you? He's telling you that he is not from that uh, ethnic group. Now, what are we told? The account says that they got Alkumpa not taken from Aukugwa. In fact, that's what the Aukugwa people say. Then you go to the Aquamus. They also say that Ukonfuanote was with them before he left to go and treat some people at Aukugwa. But when you leave Aquamu and you go to Peki, then the Aukonfu from Ngoche came from there. When you go to Burkina Faso, where Ghana, Togo, and Burkina Faso share a common border, there is Togi Chali's house there. If Togi Chali's house is there, then he is descending. He comes this way. He manifests in various forms. In fact, when you go to North Carolina, you will have the Chali heritage there. I was just hearing the other time that you go to Mississippi, you have a Chali there. You go to the White House, uh, we are supposed to have Chali shrine inside the White House. So like I said earlier, Charlie or Charlie is the ancient of days. And his name is Togba Charlie Agbango. Agbango 2, Vatu, Okeye Keyesu Keyesu, Oke Kesu Keyesu, Charlie Boaglo. That's the infinite intelligence. Um, that means what kinds, what kind of religion uh are the Ewes, Ewe people? Religion it will be defined as a set of rules guiding the worship of the ancient of days. But then when you come to the belief system, the culture, we have the Zaka, the, uh, this one at Nogoko. You have the Chali worship system. We have all different types of worship system, but they all belong to the same one root. Before you can do anything, you have to be in tune with the infinite intelligence. Whether it is Voduda or whatever you call it, it must have its source from the supreme energy. Mau Sogolisa. Mau Kitikata, Mau Adam Wato, Wewashi Wapo. So our belief system is hung on to, hooked on to Mau. So wherever you go, whichever community you go into, obeisance is paid to Mau because that is the supreme energy. So we can have uh, some people creating miniature shrines, but if they don't get the permission of Mau Sobolisa, they haven't achieved anything. They and might Mau, be killing. Okay. Yeah. And Mawu Osogbo Lisa is the is the this is is the same as God. Which one is called God? Uh this days they uh, uh we, we say God in heaven. So if we say Mawu Osogbo Lisa, are we referring to God in heaven as the some of the Christians refer to? We are the originators of life. So it is the, their God in heaven which will be referring to our Mao Sokolisa, not the other way around. And when we are chanting the praises of Mao Sokolisa, it goes like this. Maklaji, Maklani. Makla Mao Sokolisa, Mao Kitikata, Mao Adanwato. So they came and copied it and said, heaven and earth. They say, our father who art in heaven. But we say, Maklaji, we are seeking the authorization from the heavens, and we are seeking authorization from the earth. Yes. Before we can approach anything else, they call, they say, our father who art in heaven, and they have personalized it, given it a physical form, to the extent that they tell us that Jesus Christ went and sat on the right hand side of God. But we, like we have inherited from our ancestors in the Nile Valley, we know that the creative energy is a spirit. It is not a physical being for anybody to go and sit 
on the left or the right hand side. Okay. So that is the difference between us and them. They say okay. that as for their God in heaven, is a human being. He sits on a stool and uh, his son is sitting on his right hand side. And we are being told that there is a straight but narrow path to him. Ours is energy. Pure and simple. You Ours cannot is... go up I see God. The endless Ours... Energy. Ours is the we believe in the energy of the creator, the creator, our creator. So, but we've not, we cannot see him, but we believe in him. We can see. We believe. Yeah. We okay. hold on to that one. Okay. So that uh, is why his his energy, his breath is imbibed in us. So that breath, which is the spirit, that is why we use the science of divination to consult that energy. Okay. Okay. Right? Thank you very much. Yes. My yes. next question is, uh, can you please, can you please um, tell us about the culture of the Ewe people? That is Ewe music, Ewe drama, uh, dramen, Ewe dance, Ewe food, Ewe uh, kente, Ewe festivals, Ewe um, prover proverbs. Now let's uh, take it from uh, you see that uh, we have different different types of uh, food. Now when we take the yakayaka, <laughs> we will take the abolo. The abolo with uh, Yeshua burn yourself or Jesus the Christ multiplied and gave to the people. When you see the definition in the Bible, you see they are talking about our abolo not Yevubolo. <laughs> the unleavened bread. That is ours. Okay. We have the Kokui. As for Amadechi, Akmadechi, and all these things, you know them already. Maybe because yes. you are in a foreign land, you have not been enjoying them. But I those mean, are some of them. <laughs> we have the Petri Dechi, the telephone lines. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have as for the Aklan, Amoklan, a Wokplan, Jenklan, a Wadani, all these ones we have. It is telling you that all our agricultural products, we have uses for them. We have uses for our fish. We know how, you know, as coming from Anglaga, you know that we have the Charlotte farms, right? Mm -hmm. And Charlotte. Mm -hmm is very key. We have the shallot, we have the uh, the salt, everything that you need to make a delicious soup. We have the fresh abobi. Hmm? Yes. We, all those ones we have in food. Now, in our music, we have a chagbeko. Talking about uh, agbaja, Agbaja is a very serious exercise. When you are dancing Agbaja, you will not suffer any bodily pain. But then we have the the Vedome Bobobo. That one too, you wriggle your body and you take away all the pains of the body. Body. You have the Kinka. You know the Kinka. I don't know the, the kinka, kinka please. Is, oh, the kinka is some musical type which is very, very romantic in uh, dancing. So as for the dance and the music, we have the dirges. And in our musical form, we have the vibrating drums. You know, in the Duke University in the U.S., they have set up a department to study our drums. Because our drums, we don't need any megaphone or anything to carry the message. The Vuga, where you are sitting, if you are close by some few kilometers from you and they are drumming, you will get the message. Our drums tell us things we need to know. Like in Angloga, when they are playing the Nyedezamiek Bozan, you are across the lagoon, 
you hear that something is gone wrong. Then you, if you have the ears to understand the music, you will know what they are telling you. So our drums carry our messages. At the same time, providing us the entertainment we need. Our culture is the embodiment of our whole lifestyle. From birth to the grave, you will find in our culture. So like I said earlier, if you have lost your cultural roots, you have lost your spiritual strength. Our culture is the basis of our education, our clothing, how we relate to each other. You can find all those ones in our culture. Someone comes, unlike a European lifestyle, when a visitor comes to you and you give the visitor some newspaper to be reading, in our culture, what do we say? When you arrive and they are eating, they tell you, Chodo e un chuduna. So when they are cooking, they cook extra. In event a visitor comes at an odd hour, that visitor must eat something. That is an important part of our culture. We are always prepared to receive people. But it becomes our uh, undoing. You have a visitor, you receive the visitor to come and stay with you. Then the visitor wants to claim to be the landlord like we are having in uh, the middle part or the northern part of the Volta region. The visitors who ran away from war are now claiming that the land is theirs. So our culture makes us very receptive to anybody who comes. So we were receptive to the white people who came in the name of being missionaries to come and teach us the knowledge of their God. Whereas we had the knowledge of our creator. So those are some of the things. As for the festivals, you know them already. We know the Hukbeto That is the first key one. Because that sparked the migration from the Nile Valley. Yeah. The invasions of the Nile Valley or the Southern River Valley Kingdom of the Pharaohs precipitated our movement then they were moving. And you go into the Bible and they said that God said, we shall be in uh, exile and scattered amongst the bowls and cans of people. And it's only the AV people who best qualify to be called the Israelites. But we are Avis. We will not borrow anybody's name to call ourselves. They can borrow our name and call themselves and say they are the Israelites. But we are Avis. And we have a unique culture. We have a culture that when you give birth to a male child, you must circumcise that male child. And Herodotus says that it is only the ancient Egyptians and the Ethiopians who practiced circumcision since time immemorial. And that is an aspect of us. So when you are entering into a synagogue and you are not circumcised, you cannot enter into that synagogue. And people who don't circumcise and today claim that they were the ancient Egyptians, they are lying. Because when Herodotus went there, <coughs> excuse me, and all others who have visited the land of the Pharaoh will tell you that it was compulsory that when you are born as a male child, you must be circumcised. Otherwise, you cannot inherit the Pharaoh. So those who are not circumcising and have started now, they should give us a break. They cannot claim to be descendants of the Pharaoh. And we brought all our Pharaonic practices to where we are today. Um, Daddy, what, uh, what in your opinion binds the Ewe people together? What binds them together? Their language binds them together, that is one. Their culture, which embodies their educational system, binds us together. Everything that we do, you see that the belief system is the key bonding element. Yeah. Like I said, Mawu Sogbolisa binds us together. It is out of the magnanimity of this divine creative energy that we remain 
those we are. So anybody who thinks that he can take us for a life, sees back and thinks, who are these people? Now they are all acknowledging that we were those who were from the beginning, those who are today, and those who will always remain the creative replication of the supreme energy. Okay. We are. Okay. And we will always be. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Can you please tell us um, a humorous story about the Ewer people? Humorous story? Yes. Who can that be? <laughs> huh? Any of the so, ones you know? I only know about serious stories. <laughs> but one thing I did... <laughs> You see, I took a picture of the moon. Yes. Right? Now, the moon, uh, people say, but I can show you a picture of the lunar crescent which has manifested in seven stages the same night. You see seven different crescents forming some uh, belt. Hmm? Now, I've taken a picture of Azizan. They say that uh, it is not possible to take a picture of Azizan, but I have a picture of Azizan. Azizan, I have a picture of the male Azizan and the female Azizan. I have used them in making calendars. I have used the, the manifestation of uh, a deity in uh, Nkwanta over the Shari Hill. I believe you know the Shari Step Settlement. You look up, then you will see the face of a man with the beard on top of the trees in the sky. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some of the funny things I have done, taking pictures, then when you get to Chama, where Togbi Chali removed this lower jaw and upper jaw and fix them into his uh, shrine. We, we rehabilitated the place only for some uh, crooks to go and remove the jaws. But we will take uh, that issue up with the, with the Togby and, and let him go and find out who removed the jaws and deal with that person. So that is my humorous side of the story. But you see that like uh, our beaches, you see there is no death there because the sea does not want death. So we must be clean, not only externally, but also internally. If that okay. is a humorous story. Then... Okay. okay. Daddy, um, please, do you think if we were following our cultures as Voltarians or Ewes, if we were following our cultures, do you think there will be any killing of human beings or any stealing or any bad doings in the Ewe land? I believe strongly that if we hold on to our culture, we will not get any negative thing. Because you see that in our society, the ancients, they don't lock their doors. They make some trappings, which is not a lock. But you can't go and steal. You can have somebody drop anything at a place. All that the other person can do is to take that thing and send it to the chief's house. You don't steal. But now that we have become Christianized, we are still, people are stealing even in the church. <laughs> but in our culture, you don't steal. Now educational the educational system given to us has made us to lose track of what is good in our society. We have lost everything. And this is the time we must return. And what are they using the political power to do? to amass wealth and let the people starve, expecting people to come and be begging them for their daily meal 
and we are having a situation with The person is living with the spouse or something. The mm -hmm. man goes after women, the woman goes after men, and our society has been degraded. People who are supposed to be upholding our cultural practices are themselves guilty. Mm -hmm. They will come onto the pulpit and be preaching. They claim to be preaching the word of God. And they know that in the Westerners word of God, you can do any negative thing. And uh, they will tell you God uh, has forgiven you because somebody called Jesus Christ has come to die for your sins, whom you don't know. But our culture, if they say thou must not kill, it means thou must not kill. Not that thou will kill and come and apologize. No. So in the Nile Valley, we had the 42 laws. Even lying is a crime. Going to take what has been offered to the deities is a crime. But yeah. today, what do we see? All the things we are told not to do. Even the pinnacle of Christianity. What are we seeing? What did Donald Trump tell us? That is going to destroy North Korea. They went into Iraq. They have destroyed. They have gone into Libya. Today, blacks are being killed in Libya every day. Why? Yeah. If Muammar Gaddafi were there, this type of senseless killings will stop. But then, you know why the, uh, the Italians invaded Ethiopia? They no. were looking for the sacred text. They were looking for the true version of the belief system. Okay. So that those they have stolen from Egypt is not enough because there will be a counter information base. Mm -hmm. You see that Martin Luther said that what the Romans were claiming that it was the divine revelation to them was false. And he said, look, all that you are claiming have been written on the walls, the pyramids, in the temples. Then he was banished from the church. Then he had to create his uh, reformed or protestant organization. And they are all competing, claiming that they are all taking as our souls to God. Forgetting that God even knows us before we were born. So how can you come from your country and tell, come and tell me that you are leading me to God? You cannot lead me, lead me to Mau because Mau is right here with me. Mau is not sit, sitting somewhere far away. So when we are offering our prayers, we say Maklaji, Maklani. We don't say Mau Lejifo. No. Because it's a combination. The energy is with us. So let us respect that energy we have and let's stop dancing in semicircles. So, so, so one, yeah. for what mm -hmm. I can understand is you are trying to let us know that God is not sitting somewhere looking at us. He is with us everywhere and he's a spirit we cannot see. So as human beings, we shouldn't even believe the fact that God is sitting somewhere in heaven and his son is sitting right beside him. Because he is a spirit we cannot see. Yeah, what, what do they tell you? Their contradiction in their own preaching is that God breathed his breath into us, making us human. If his breath is in us, how can you say that he is equally sitting somewhere? He cannot <laughs> sit somewhere. He is with you. Yes. So when you are going into a house, what do they tell you? You alone will be entering the house. But what is the welcome? Nya wezon. Nya maka wezon. Enye pla nya ma wezon. Okay. So that is it. We must realize that the supreme energy is always with us. And the supreme energy 
will guide us in our journey through this changing phase of life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody just sent me something here. Uh, he said, yeah. why are people always saying always are wicked, always are murderous, always like using their fetish um, behaviors to kill other people, in innocent people? Oh. Who and who can he prove that the always have killed, always are fetish? What is fetish? Fetish is somebody made by hand, something made by hand. Now, when you enter into the church, those images of Jesus, those crosses, were they not made by hand? Why do you believe in those handmade things and you condemn the stone, the tree, the water bodies? We always believe that all those are manifestations of the same energy right if we kill there in every house you will have some negative person who will go out of the norm the person sending that message will he say that he hasn't got anybody within his ethnic group who have not performed outside the circle of acceptable norms if they have gotten somebody who does that one, then he should not zero it to Aves. We are not saying Aves are very perfect people. There might be some who will go off the norm. Like we have the so-called Christians embarking upon what they call the Crusades. What were the Crusades? They were violent overthrow of people, killing them, bastardizing them, claiming that they are winning their souls for Christ. We had the jihad. They were killing. Were those service? Didn't America go to Vietnam to kill? No. But we are not saying that we are all perfect. We are not all that perfect. But at least we are better off. And our deities are said that if what you are not to do, you do it, you will get your punishment. We will not say that somebody is, has died for our punishment, so we will go and do wrong. No. When you do the wrong, you will get the punishment. Ours is a fast track. It is not a delayed one that God will sit down some day and change. No. If what you are not to do, you do it. You will get your punishment. You get punished for it. And that is what we be we believe in. Hmm? Okay. Tanda will um, kill you when you go and steal. And the person does not know who stole his thing. And he goes to report that that he will deal with you. That is no evil. Because you know that to steal is not good. To kill is not good. If you go and kill no one will know the person who killed their brother. But when he is reported to the deity, the deity will look out for you and discipline you. At times it will start with some of your relations. That's what some people, most people have uh, of reservations to. That why you shouldn't the deity deal with you straight and start killing some of your people. The deity wants those of you in that family to bring up a respectable family. They don't want your family members to go in about doing wayward things. And then they want to sit down and say, oh, why did you do this? When the person was acting wrongly, if you were to have checked that person, it would not have gone to the stage it reaches. So at times the day two will look at the hearts of those people in the family and decide to be disciplining them. Then you say that the day two, Nobody can kill. The deity will take you on because the case has been reported. And they condemn us. And they said, okay, we have a, a trunk of the system. When uh, somebody from the family has done wrong, and we do it, it is the girl child who goes for the training so that she gets up and brings, she grows up and brings up an ideal family. 
she becomes a check on the other members of the family. That this thing, you know this priestess is with us here. You know you can't do wrong. If you do it, she will criticize you. That's why some of our queen mothers are very powerful. When you think that you are a chief so you can play the mess, the queen mother will call you and criticize you even in public, notwithstanding your position. Because you cannot do anything to the queen mother. She had gone through the training and she is spiritually protected. So you can't do anything. Okay. So that is Thank our you, Daddy. If you don't Thank get up and be killing, no. Thank you. Um, please, a uh, word of advice for the Ewe people. Ewe? Mi jagba mi adeshi mi adoki oba yowe nye ma uvyo. Na mi awo un jodwea. Vo mi gana madaka na chitra da vo kuji na mi ba ya agba jadu mo. Mi cho abale mi atogbe o tu yona. O vli mi ata. E mi aha mi avli mi ata. Avli mi aviota. Avli vadu kota. Na vadu kona no chitra. Madaka ma gata si da mkuji na mi o. Madaka ma ga globe ya. Usa le eshi. Ya ta vadu kona ni o. A o. E me amigba. Evis, rise up and stand and fight for your right. Nobody can do for you but yourself. Like Bob Marley said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. We have been so mentally enslaved that we no longer know ourselves, but man, know thyself. Akba? Akba, no. Thank you so, so, so much for your teachings today. Uh, I've learned so much. I've learned a lot from you today. And I believe my viewers also has learned a lot. I want to thank you for your time. And if there is anything, anything at all that we don't understand, we will gladly come back to you and seek for advice. We want to thank you for educating us on our history. Yes, as Ewes. Thank you so much, Maybe Daddy. Maybe next time, maybe next time, we will have to take a look at the clan formation. You talked of okay. Adovia, I talked of the Chama, but there are other clans. Okay, and how did thank they come you. about? Thank you, thank you so thank you. much. Thank you, thank you. Then I will talk to you on thank WhatsApp you. about that, and then you tell me the dates and everything, and then we'll do it. So okay. thank you. I no really problem. do appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you very, very, very much. So bye bye. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> bye. <laughs> So, my viewers, thank you so much for your time. We had a very, very interesting conversation with Daddy. He explained to us so many things. Even the pyramid in uh, Egypt, uh, he said it was, that is the Ekpala, Ekpaji, that was the Ekpala. Uh, yes, the pyramid is the Ekpala Ekpaji thing they were talking about, uh, stone on stone. Our ancestors chanted the stones to go on stones for it to build that pyramid. And he said something also about the River Niger. So um, please go and uh, when I end the video, replay it and you will get all the information and everything he has taught us. This afternoon, mata kwa na miya kata ba miya wo miya kwa na muna miya sa miya fufu kwa ba mata kwa na mi aglo ni agar na mi la nusu stroma aleka miya te anogba aleka angloto miya jo aleka vuga o miya jo aglo kata na mi ndo kuchia mara kuku na mi na ma 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 end video mara kuku na ga play na fifi la ene join mi na ga play. Na naksa anya yokata oglo. Afi e miye cho, miya mama o miya togbi o, ame yo miye nya, miya fwa kon mo nyo o, jaba miya wo nyo o, jaba miya ka wo wo. E aglo, hama kata nami, eta akpa nami ba miye kwa ramunya. Akpa kaka kaka nami, eta miya sa haya na miya ko end programa. Akpa. Ooh, I am a proud Voltarian. Yes, I'm a proud Ewe. 
I'm a proud woman to be from anywhere. Uh, I come from Angloga. Yes, I'm so happy to know my history. Yes. I hope you learned something as I did. Yes. even try to steal. Thank you for the love. And thank you for sharing my video. So, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and I will leave you guys here. If there's anything you want me to talk about, you can actually send it into my inbox and I will talk about it. And from next uh, week or next month, let's say next month going, I'll be bringing different programs to educate us. Yes, thank you very much. I do appreciate you all. Bye-bye.